How can you save money by registering your copyrights as a folio or group instead of individually? Stick around and I'll give you an answer. Hi there, I'm Gordon Firemark, and this is where I answer common entertainment law questions to help industry professionals like you achieve your dreams. Angel writes in to say, in the music industry, it's my understanding that songwriters can submit to the U.S. Copyright Office a batch of songs under the heading, a collection of songs that include, and lists the songs, and pay a single flat fee for all of the songs under that category instead of paying for each individual song. If that's true, can the same approach be applied to screenplays? May I submit, say, 10 shorts or feature scripts to the U.S. Copyright Office under the heading, a collection of screenplays that includes, and then listing them and then pay a flat fee for all of those screenplays under the single category, rather than a fee for each screenplay? Well, the short answer is yes, you can, but only if they meet certain requirements. You can register multiple unpublished works if the elements are assembled in an orderly form, the combined elements bear a single title identifying the collection as a whole, and the copyright claim in all of the elements and in the collection as a whole is the same. If the work have been previously published, which means made available to the public by any means, if they are all first published together in the same publication, on the same date and owned by the same claimant, they may also be registered as a group. But there are a few reasons why you might not want to register everything together. First, when you do this, you make it a little harder for folks who want to contact you, like to buy rights, to track you down. Secondly, on the off chance that someone rips off more than one of the scripts within a collection, you want to be able to collect for multiple infringements. There have been some recent court rulings that suggest you can't, that they'll all be treated as a single infringement. And third, it's best to register your work as soon as possible after it's created. Under copyright law, awards of attorney's fees and statutory damages are only available if you registered your copyright within three months of first publication. Now, presumably, it takes you more than three months to accumulate a body of work to register. So you'd potentially be hurting your chances of recovery if you wait to record groups. So sure, if you've got a back catalog of unpublished scripts to register, go ahead and do it as a folio. It's better than not registering at all. But I'd suggest that going forward, register your new stuff as you finish it. Hey, do you like what you're seeing here? If so, please subscribe by clicking the button below. And if you'd like to ask a question, go to firemark.com slash questions.